2024 coverage now. The battle for Nebraska's first congressional district continued this afternoon with the debate. Among topics discussed, federal regulations for reproductive rights, border security and international relations, including the wars in Israel and Ukraine. Bipartisanship and improvement within each political party was also on the agenda. Incumbent Congressman Mike Flood says he's the right choice because of his lack of extremism compared to Democrats. His challenger, State Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue, believes she should be elected for her focus on people as opposed to party. Are you better off today than you were before Joe Biden? Are you okay with the border? Are, are things working well in the economy? If so, I invite you to support my opponent. If you want it to change, if you want to get America back on the right track, then I would like to earn your vote. We've got to stop people putting people in that put politics over the people. You got to start electing people that are like you. People that know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck. People that know what it's like to have to send our kids to school and worry about if they're going to come home or not. Congressional District 1 includes Offutt Air Force Base. Each candidate laid out their plans for national security and military spending. For Flood, he shared the importance of our military being prepared to support our allies. State Senator Blood focused on the need for better tools and equipment for our troops. We have to make sure that our uh, allies in Ukraine have the weapons they need to fend off the Russians. Uh, that Israel has our support in the Middle East and that the people living in Taiwan know that we're there. The South China Sea is a very dangerous place right now. Uh, China is looking to advance uh, into Taiwan and create a conflict that would be catastrophic. Uh, Americans have to be ready for this. We need to make sure that not only do we take care of the military and the tools that they need, but we also take care of the military families because they also serve. And so we know it's always going to be part of our budget. It's always something that we have to take seriously. And if you've ever been to the Boneyard, you know that we still don't support our military in a way that it really should, should happen. The debate was moderated by a panel of journalists from Nebraska Public Media, the Lincoln Journal Star, and the Rural Radio Network.